Yo, what's up guys? Happy Strength Side Friday. Today we have a really awesome follow along for you and you and you, especially you. We're going to be combining some stretching and opening up the body, some strengthening and bulletproofing of the joints, and a little bit of dynamic movement, a little athleticism for you. So Trevor's gonna lead you through this one. I asked him to do the intro with me, and he said he's too big time to do intros. We're gonna hop right into it, but before we do, click that like button, appreciate you. First movement, we're gonna start in the ground, push up position. Here's the full movement, and then we're gonna do it together. Push up. Move towards a down dog, sticking your butt up as high as you can in the air. And then we're gonna lift one leg and just open the side. Try to reach that leg over the top. I want you all to feel comfortable to figure out that position, figure out what feels good for your body. So we're gonna do three to five reps on each side. Take your time. If you move faster, you might get 10 done. We'll figure it out together. Ready? Let's go. Push up. If you need to drop to your knees, totally fine. Make sure to open the shoulders as much as possible, creating length. The goal here is to create length wherever your body needs it. So maybe that length is in the shoulders. So you need to reach your shoulders and hands as far away from you as you can. Maybe that length is in the side. So you need to reach this leg way over the top and get a huge side bend so you feel your obliques and lats get a stretch. Maybe it's your hamstrings. So you need to push your butt way up in the air, wherever your body needs it. I'll let you figure that out. And don't lose your hat. Wherever you are, we'll do one more rep. Remember, there's, there's no perfect way to do these. Everyone's body's different. Go ahead and take a break. Shake it out a little bit. All right, this next movement, we're gonna do a split squat. Maybe a little different than you've done them in the past. So, we'll start facing forward. About a shoulder width uh, foot placement, and then we're gonna swivel to one side, okay? From here, don't move your feet. We're gonna go all the way down. If you're, and your goal is to get our butt to our heel, if possible. If not, you basically just go as deep as you can go. Cool? It's a little different, narrow stance, split squat. If we get to the top, flip it around, do the other side. You're gonna really feel this quad burning. You're gonna get nice and deep in your knees, dusting off of those knee joints. Ready? Let's do five to eight on each side. Just get moving, let's go. Swivel, get nice and deep, take your time. Whatever your arms need to do to keep your balance, to feel confident. The goal here is to feel good. So nothing should be painful, everything should just feel like it's welcome in your body. A little bit of, you know, strength and muscle activity is good, but other than that, no bueno. And feel free to make this as fun as you want it to be. You may feel a big stretch in that big toe there too. All really good. Oftentimes we don't get enough flexibility in the toes. 
So getting those moving into some flexion there is awesome. Extension. For all you physiology nerds. A few more here. Should be feeling those quads start to burn now. Last one. All right. Boom, shake it out. Yeah, my quads are feeling it. Okay, it's the last one. We're gonna do a little bit of jumping. You're gonna leave the ground. We're gonna do what's called a speed skater. You might have done this in your uh, step aerobics class or Zumba or something, but it has a lot of benefits. So, we're gonna stand on one foot. The most important part of this is the rotation of the torso. So notice I'm standing on my right foot and I'm rotated to my right, right? I use my arms to rotate, shoulders and arms. Now I'm going to hop, but right now I'm gonna step to show you. Boom, step, and then I rotate my arms to the other side, right? And so at full speed, I'd hop and bam, right? Now, here's something to pay attention to. Make sure everything looks nice and aligned there, right? We don't wanna see this type of thing. Valgus, knee, no good. So, alignment, foot forward, knee forward, hip in alignment, right here, right? And once we master that, then we could start to Come with me, man. You're too slow. Then we could start to really open it up and see what kind of um, speed, power we want to put on it, right? Whatever emphasis we're looking for. Cool? So let's go ahead and do 10 to 20 reps on each side. Uh, no, 10 to 20 reps total. And go at your own speed. Keep yourself safe. Let's do it. All right, so here's what you're paying attention to. Alignment and first and foremost, land soft. Notice I'm not, uh, ow, I got hurt a little bit. I'm not, you don't wanna hear your foot hit the ground, okay? Silent, silent. You hear anything, Josh? <laughs> so, keep it nice and soft. And then if you're feeling good, start to see if you can pull a little oomph into it. You can get real big and let that opposite leg come way across. You might even feel a little stretch in this position. Get a little stretch out here on the side. There's all kinds of different things we can do with this. And again, I think that's the point of these, these three exercises we're doing today is you don't have to do them in some perfect way. Figure out what your body needs and give it that. A few more. And we'll get going to uh, round number two. Round number two. <laughs> Let's go through it again. So each one of the movements, we're gonna add on a little bit. If you liked what you were doing before, by all means, keep it the same. But we'll add a little bit onto this first one by, we ended in this position here. Big open, now we're just gonna disconnect with this hand. Drop that foot to the ground. And now we're in this big open position pushing with the shoulder, opening the spine. Then we reach back, whoosh, come back, and now we're ready for push-up. Cool? All right, let's do a couple reps together, and I'll let you go at your own pace. So, <clears throat> push-up. Remember, you can always drop to your knees. Press that butt up in the air. Reach the leg over, and if you're ready for it, disconnect, whoosh, come back, open the spine, whoosh, throw that hand back over, and come back to your push-up. Other side. Reach the leg up. Open. Open the shoulder. Open the spine. Reach the hand back. Push-up.
Right. A couple more on your own. Let's talk about a few things. So once you're here, we're open, we drop. Make sure you're always pushing that shoulder blade towards the ground. We don't want to be sinking in. Push the shoulder blade away. Open the chest. I like to even reach. Remember we were talking about length? Create length, right? Now, when I reach that leg over, let it pull me. And same thing when I go back. I'm gonna reach the hand and let that pull me back. Go. All right. Take a break. We're done. We're back to that second movement, the split squat. Now, last time we went down and up, switched down and up, right? This time we're gonna switch at the bottom. So we'll go down, open, let the feet swivel, close, and come up. Cool? That makes sense? If that's too challenging, let's do what we did last time. All right, let's do 10 to 15. Ready? Let's go. Pick a side, down, swivel, open the hips, swivel, close the hips, and up. Go. You get the idea. This is great because we get to transition through a regular squat. So now we're working on a little bit of hip mobility, a little bit of ankle mobility. We get it all here through one sequence of movement. Go at your own speed. If you're feeling real comfy with it, feel free to pick it up a little bit. Also, if you just want to hang on stretch in a position, we trust you. You know what's best for you. Use your hands too. If you're feeling uh, unbalanced in any way. Also, I didn't even say this, but you'd have a, something for your hand the whole time. Even if you're doing this one. A little railing next to you. Whatever you need. This is for all levels. Anyone can do this. All right, let's take a break. We're done with that. Last move of the day, we're at the speed skater. Now, last time we were working on moving side to side. This time, if you got it, if you're feeling confident, now we're gonna see if you can jump and stick the landing. No foot, balance. So balance before you move to the other side. Same thing all applies. We don't wanna see any weird positions, right? Stick it, land soft, bam. Ready? 10 to 20 reps. Go at your own pace on this one. Just make sure you're keeping yourself safe, landing softly. Let's go. If you're feeling like you just want to go for power, don't even worry about balance. Just get a lot of movement there. Oh, didn't quite get it. If you're hitting is good, if you're doing well, you should feel your butt a lot on that jump, both landing, you're controlling with your glute, and then kicking out. That's all butt right there. Let's go. All right, I think we'll call that thing a wrap. Hell yeah. Nice work. So how you feeling after doing that routine? Comment below, we wanna know, how this routine make you feel? I'll tell you, for me, personally, it made me feel like a cameraman because I was filming the whole thing. If you enjoyed this routine and it made you feel good, then please just click that like button. If you really love the vibe of these follow along routines, then check out our guided program where it's all 
follow along routines to make you feel good and nice. If you haven't already subscribed to Strengthside, then let's do that right now. So we're hanging out up here in Seattle, Washington, having a grand old time. And today we're headed out to do some movement and hang out in the park and whatnot. And we're gonna bring you guys along with us. So let's go. We in Seattle, boy. That's Seattle coffee. This is where coffee was invented. It's gone already. Time to go find somewhere to pee. The street cafes ain't got no bathrooms, man. Yo, they got alleys, though. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Want to support you, man. Probably 50 cents. This guy's kind of cheap. We're at the park right now with my buddy Tanner. He's a really dope mover. So let's go see if he'll do some cool moves for us. So I turn my foot off the gas, yeah. I just been looking around. I'm trying to see where we at, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Cause I see them all in the stands, yeah. I see them showing me love. You have like nice camera awareness. Yeah, like, dude. It's always like, beautiful. I feel like it's part of the play, yeah. Blessings all around me now, yeah. Even when it's looking down, I got a reason I can smile. Uh. God had it from the jump, yeah. Way back to the front, gave me what I need, never what I want. Cause I got enough. Now I'm just watching these guys jump around in the trees. I can't jump because I'm my ankle's injured, but uh, really fun to watch. So uh, we're gonna do a whole video on this uh, little movement retreat called Return to the Source. But I want to just show you guys in this video a few clips of these guys jumping around. It's super cool. Aesthetic. Yo, this is coming soon. Let me put this on. I'll model this for you guys. Might as well show show what it looks like. So uh, we've been working on this apparel line for the last few months. This will be dropping really soon. Right here it says highly different. Strength side 2021. On the back we got some strength side stuff. It says some cool stuff. What do you think? I'll be a little model here. Yo, what's up, man? What this? Adidas? Adidas? No, no. This is just uh, this guy that I follow online. Oh, it looks like a designer shirt. Oh wow. No, no. Just uh, this is my movement shirt. You know. <laughs> Would you wear it? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, what's up, y'all? Back here in Texas. And uh, what's new with me? Well, nowadays I'm putting my bun through the back little hole in my hat. And uh, that's what that's what's new with me. Today, I am going for doubles on the handstand push-up. So last session, I was hitting my singles and I was like, man, I'm feeling strong. I feel like I could squeeze out another one. So today, I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna go for it and I'm gonna show you success or fail, you know, because I'm a real genuine dude that's a lie sometimes i sometimes i fail and i delete that shit out of my camera so quickly ah! but uh yeah today i'm gonna really show you so let's see what happens um nice beautiful day we're here at the church um i love training at this church because we got the ledge to do the handstand push-ups and over here we got these beams to hang up the rings and that's one thing that we we always tell our, our primal athletes is like be on the lookout around town for good places to train right maybe this park has really good bars to do your pull-ups and your calisthenics work off you know maybe you find a nice nice tree to hang your rings off of like maybe in nature that's even cooler right always be scanning your environment seeing what could possibly become your next ox obstacle ox obstacle obstacle or challenge <sighs> I'm delaying handstand push ups. Okay, okay. I'll take it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 